What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today's video is sponsored by Tuxmat. If you guys aren't aware of who Tuxmat is, they actually make perfectly customized floor mats that are all weather for your car. So they have a variety of different you know, makes and models and things like that. So we actually have a nice care package from them that we're gonna be unboxing in today's video. So huge shout out to Tuxmat for sending this over to me. We've got some really awesome customized laser scanned floor mats that are gonna be going into the BRG GADM3. So let's go ahead and open up the package and talk about the product. So when you order from Tuxmat, this is how it comes, nicely boxed. And again, these are actually going to be laser scanned, so they are perfectly fitting for your car. So again, they've got a variety of different makes and models, and we are going to be putting these into my new 2023 British Racing Green individual. And I'm a huge fan of having all weather floor mats. I've got the carpet ones in there currently, the stock carpet ones, but I just, you know, I don't like using them because they just get really dirty, especially when you're around rain and snow and things like that. And so typically what I've done in the past is always purchased, um, you know, OEM floor mats. And so I've kind of run that in all of my BMWs and this was going to be no exception, but I've got a buddy that actually has some tux mats in his car and they look fantastic. And what's really great about these is that they actually go up the sides under the carpet. So it's not just the bottom layer, it actually gives you the most coverage possible. And again, these are laser scanned. And so um, they give you the best coverage possible. So let's go ahead and open this up. They have a variety of different ones um, in terms of what you're looking for in terms of coverage. So um, they've got front mats, rear mats, they even have trunk mats. So here's kind of what's all in the package here. We've got a nice tux mat sticker, as well as front and rear mats. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of here. Let's see what this is here. Installation guide. Ah, okay, so these are little plastic pieces here. I'm gonna show you guys how to use these, but this is basically how we attach it up and around the sides of the carpet. And these appear to be front mats. Super nice looking. These are probably the rear. Big one here. All right, so now that we've got this unboxed, I can show you these a little closer up. These are just super nice, super high quality. And they don't break the bank either. I mean, OEM ones are not horribly expensive and these are very comparably priced. So as you guys can see, it's got the nice little tux mat logo on here. And this is the rear. So obviously this goes over the entire rear, including the center hump there. So, and here's what I mean. You can just see it goes up the sides of the carpet. So we're not only just protecting the very bottom, but we're also protecting the carpet and everything around it. So this is gonna give you the maximum coverage possible. Here's a front. This appears to be a front uh, driver's side. So, and they also give you side clips. So make sure you read the instructions. I'll explain that and show you guys how to install these. Pretty simple though. And here's a close up of what these clips look like. And then on the bottom side here, you'll see that they have, just like the OEM ones, have the uh, Velcro here. So these will stick right into place and not move around. And then here's the passenger front as well. Super nice. And these are washable as well. As you guys can see, they have a lot of these grooves in here. So they're anti-slip, helps with some of that. And you can easily pull these out of the car, wash them. These are great for all weather conditions, not just dry, but also snow and rain, sleet, you name it, mud. Super, super good. All right, so let's say goodbye to these carpet mats. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the car in the garage and show you guys how to install these. Very, very simple process though. And just to show you guys what the carpet mats look like. So they obviously get pretty filthy and the car's only got 3,000 miles on it. So they're still pretty clean, but they are going to continually get worse. So I don't want that to happen to these. So those are gonna go in storage, but what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is vacuum out all of the dirt. And you'll see obviously that the OEM ones have the uh, Velcro down here. So 
It's gonna be perfect for the tux mats because the tux mats will fit right onto here securely into place and it will even go up the side of the carpet. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum first, but there's the front, there's the rear. And again, tux mat does also make trunk mats as well, but I actually have a mat in here already from BMW. So this nice big BMW one will stay, but the tux mat one also looks fantastic. All right, so starting here on the passenger side, I went ahead and vacuumed it out, made sure everything was nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and push my seat back just to give myself extra room. So same thing, it's got the you know, Velcro here on the bottom. And so we're gonna take the new tux mat here and we're just gonna drop this right into place underneath here, get it all the way under, make sure we have full coverage. Just like so. And again, these are laser fitted here, so you'll see that it just fits perfectly. Look at the coverage down here. It even wraps around this. So they basically laser scan this whole interior of the car. And so it makes it so much better fit. And you'll see that it goes right up here to the plastics as well fit right underneath there, just like so. Goes right here into the corner, all the way up there. It's just absolutely fantastic looking. And again, the Velcro holds it down right here, and I'm gonna show you guys what to do with the clips that were provided here in a second. So these are the clips that were provided. As you guys can see, we have 14 of these style and then we've got 10 of these styles. So these are a little bit bigger and they actually have Velcro on the back of them. And then these here, you can see how these are constructed. So a little bit different design depending on how you'd like to do it. So one other thing I want to point out, if you don't have a BMW and you don't have these Velcros, pieces on the bottom, then you may have a different design. So Tux Mat will actually give you kind of a retention hook design. And basically what that does is it's a little hook that, you know, basically goes into your carpet and then your mat goes on top and it locks into place. So you may have that depending on your make and model of your car. But again, this is going to be an installation video for the G80 M3 and similar BMWs are going to be the same. So um, anyway, just wanted to point that out, but moving back to these clips. So these aren't totally necessary. You can use as many or as little as you want. As you guys can see, it already has this really fantastic fit in here. So is it necessary to have it? I don't think so probably, but I may throw a couple in just to prevent it from, you know, pulling forward like that. You have the ability to put one of these clips on and what you'll do is tuck it into place on here. I'll use this as an example. So you're gonna use this one here. You could use, depending on your application and where you're mounting these, if you're going against plastic or something, you could use this one here with the Velcro, but I think this is a good option here. So we're gonna slide this on here. So basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to take this little one here, I'm gonna slide it down into here, just like that, and then I'm gonna tuck it up inside of the plastic. So depending on where we want to put this, just in case you know, make sure this doesn't pop out. I'm gonna put it here on the end, just like that. Hope you can see that. And then I'm gonna tuck it underneath the plastic just to hold it in place. So again, this is what it looks like. Just put one right here just to tuck it underneath the plastic and that keeps it from pulling out. I could even add one here if I wanted to. Down the line, I could do it over here if I wanted to keep it from pulling forward like this. I could tuck one underneath here so I can show you that real quick as well. And same example here, like I mentioned, if we want to, we could put one right here just to keep it from coming forward. So same idea, I'm just going to put it right here on the end. So there's the channel here, right? So I'm gonna just tuck it in just like so and then up and into the plastic underneath the plastic right there. And that keeps it from folding out. So yeah, I don't think that we need any more of them. Uh, but again, we could put, you know, another one down here if we wanted to, just to keep it from moving at all, as well as one on this side. But I think one here and one here is more than sufficient. This is really not going to go anywhere, especially because it's got the Velcro helping to hold it down. And again, if you've got a different 
make and model, you may have a retaining clip there instead, or retaining hook, retention hook. But yeah, so we could even put one up here at the very top just to keep it from moving as well, but I think this is more than sufficient. So perfect, looks really, really nice. And here is the final product of the passenger side. The fit and finish looks fantastic. I absolutely love these. And then I can go ahead and push my seat forward. We won't have any uh, obstructions or anything. As you guys can see, look, it slides right over the mat. No problem at all on either side. So looks really, really nice. And then moving on to the driver's side, same process. I went ahead and vacuumed it out. And so we actually are going to be covering the dead pedal there, but I am gonna leave the plastic on because why not? And so we'll take our new tux mat here and we'll carefully drop it into place down here and get it positioned. Also when doing this install process, you wanna make sure that your seat is all the way back. That way we can make sure we've got proper installation. And then you also wanna make sure that, at least for the driver's side, that uh, these are going all the way up into place and out of any obstruction of the pedals because you don't wanna have any issues with pedals, obviously, so. It's all tucked in there, nice and neat, as far back as it'll go there. And then you want to push down on all the sections, make sure that it's touching the floor appropriately, as well as connecting here. There you go. Just like so. What I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a couple little of those clips along the side here as well as here to keep it up and out of the way. Here's how the driver's side currently looks without the clips. And so I think I'm going to put a couple, I'm gonna put one right here just to help hold this back. Obviously this was in a box and shipment, so it'll probably expand a little bit as time goes on and you know fit and form a little bit better, but I'm gonna put one here and then I think I might put one up here or and or here, maybe a combination. And again, you just wanna make sure you're not causing any obstruction in the pedal area. But super nice because, man, again, it just climbs up here on the carpet area and it also keeps my third pedal, my dead pedal, nice and clean. And I may put one here just like we did on the other side just to help hold this down into place. Super nice. Here's the final product on the driver's side. So as you guys can see, the joy of this is you can use or not use as many as these clips as you want. So I wanted it to be a little bit tighter. So I added a clip there, a clip there, and actually three clips back there because I didn't want that flap to come out and you know run the risk of hitting the pedal. I wanted to make sure that I had no obstruction, you know, with the pedal going in because it is close over there. So I didn't want that flap to be hanging out. So good clearance there, good clearance on brake pedal, obviously. And because the way that this BMW plastic trim is, when it gets down to here, it's all plastic all the way to the floor over here. So what I did was on this clip, this is actually one of those Velcro, Velcro clips. And so I utilized a Velcro one here, and then I've got a regular one that tucks behind the plastic here, and I've got one down here. So this is the only Velcro one I've used, but that's, again, the joy of using or not using as many of these as you want, but perfect fit otherwise. Really, really nice. Additionally, the driver's side does have this rubberized section here just for some additional grip, especially when it's wet or slippery in the snow, things like that. So it's really gonna be awesome. And I like that I can basically just leave these in here all the time. I mean, I'm pretty clean, so the uh, fact that I won't be pulling these out and I don't have to worry about vacuuming in the carpet areas because it's all covered, has really good coverage, that's gonna be a game changer for me. And finally, the rear mat. Position this into place on both sides. So what's cool about the rear, if you can't already tell, it kind of tucks underneath the seat. So you've got full coverage literally underneath the seat. It's 
perfectly in there just like that. Just make sure it's all in. So it goes underneath the seat. Literally a ton of coverage here. And then I'm gonna look and see if we wanna add any clips anywhere, maybe here on the sides, just to hold it in, but I think we're good. And this is the final product in the rear. I did add one clip right here just to keep that nice and tidy. And I did make sure that I could roll both seats all the way back, zero obstruction. I did one here as well, but I love that these literally roll like underneath the seat. So very, very cool, a lot of coverage on the rear as well. So very simple to install, as you guys could tell, really high quality mats. I'm excited to see how these get utilized throughout the seasons. And again, they're all season, so all season mats, so I can use these in all times of year. So they look great as well. Matches the interior really nicely. Awesome. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today's video. Huge thanks again to Tux Matt for sending these over to me and letting me do a kind of a product review as well as an installation video for you guys. If you guys want a set of these, I will have a link in the description below of where to get them, tuxmat.com. And um, yeah, they look fantastic. I'm super excited to utilize these and they look really, really great. They fit really great. And uh, I have zero complaints with these. So highly recommend them. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.